Howdy! What's up? Uh, my name is Mohit and people uh, I'll be showing you, I'll be demonstrating the use of uh, animated stitched social media icons. This is the browser preview in Google Chrome. Let's check it out. Uh, see what happens when I hover over the Facebook and the Twitter icons. notice the uh, rotation you see uh, it's a little choppy the animation is a little choppy and that usually happens when I'm actually screencasting when I'm recording the video but uh, you know when the recording is not on when you test it on your systems it's pretty smooth smooth as butter people trust me on that it, it appears a little choppy and um, bizarre you know while I'm actually doing it but you see what's happening the border the uh, stitched border is actually doing a 270 degree now 270 could be 180 could be 360 that's entirely up to you in a specified time period which is uh, 0.75 seconds in my case in your case it could be a different value too which is absolutely all right uh, this tutorial I'm gonna split into two parts this one and the other one uh, in the first one I'm only gonna talk you through superficially in fact you know there I'm sure there are 10 20 percent uh, guys who just need to be pushed in the right direction and they can uh, self help so part one is for them you know I'll, I'll just give you the theme the gist of uh, how this actually works and I'm sure pretty sure that they can uh, do it themselves but for others who uh, need more help uh, part two will uh, get them uh, ashore right so in in part one actually just let's check the code out uh, superficially okay as always people uh, first let's focus on the body of the document this is the opening and the closing uh, body this is the opening body tag, this is the closing body tag. We have one div with a class FB, the other div with a class of tweet. Okay. Uh, inside the divisions, we have two anchor tags or two links, hyperlinks. One which points to facebook.com, uh, my Facebook user ID, the other one that points to twitter.com, my uh, Twitter uh, username right uh, I've not used the target attribute but you can too you see if you don't use it uh, the uh, link is gonna open up in the same window let me show that to you if I were to click on this uh, let's say the first icon you know it opens up my Facebook account on in, you know in the same window and the Twitter account in the same window all right and trust me people <laughs> creating this effect is not at all too difficult once I uh, once I tell you how I actually did it you you you'll be surprised how easy it is to do this okay so I've not used the target attribute but you can that's uh, entirely up to you okay and between the two divisions I have a BR tag basically a line break inserting some space okay so let's see how this was actually done uh, in the opening and the closing style tags people where I've uh, pushed in the internal or the embedded styles uh, the body has a margin of 100 basically creating a cushion all around and a background of triple one that's uh, something that you can decide the first rule tackles the, all the link tags basically the Twitter and the uh, you know the Facebook uh, link links so I, I've said that I would want the display to be a block a height and a width of 64 you see what I've done is I've actually used background images these are you know these are images that I've actually used Twitter dark Facebook dark dot PNG 64 by 64 is the uh, are the dimensions of these two images okay this this is the local side folder so the uh, you know where I've dumped all the assets so these two have been used as the background images this is the HTML document and this is a JS folder which contains a JS file prefix free dot min dot uh, JS basically if you point to this file you can write your code you can write your CSS3 code prefix free you can go vendor prefix free fearless fear free people that's exactly what I've done okay but in some cases you know just in case you know uh, you it's not supported in any in any browser you can uh, add uh, vendor prefixes only for that uh, browser but in most cases it's not required once you point to this file so for example let's say the effect doesn't work in Mozilla so you can uh, go ahead and uh, just before the CSS3 properties add uh, dash mos dash vendor prefix but as I said in most cases it won't be needed okay let's come back to the code so uh, this is where I've actually styled the link tag display block 
once you set the display to be a block otherwise you see uh, all link elements are hyperlinks are actually uh, inline elements they don't honor the width and the height but now it actually does specify the width of 64 a height of 64 position of absolute and a z index of 9999 I, i'm ensuring that my um, all my links are actually uh, uh, are the topmost layer this was this is a necessary step people z index a very high z index because while we are working with the rest of the styles you know the uh, anchor tag or the link tag actually gets pushed underneath that's the reason why i was required to take it upwards as i said i'll be doing the whole project all over again in the second part this is just a gist this is just the theme this is just a superficial uh, bird's eye view of the code okay so you see here i've actually defined the class fb you see this is div with the class fb okay let's see how it actually affects the formatting a width of 64 a height of 64 a background color of the facebook dark dot p you know dark dot png uh, image that you just saw an opacity of 0.7 which means that when i hover over uh, it goes from a 0.7 to a 1 you see it just lightens up a little bit looks nice and position of relative that's because i need to set another element absolute so i can actually position it at you know uh, relative to this element or this class okay on a hover i'm actually saying that i would want the opacity to change from a 0.7 or 70 to full 100 percent just you know just lightens up the whole thing in a very dark background that's all so you see all you know the, the first three rules are pretty simple people pretty simple pretty easy to understand self-explanatory okay the next rule is uh, colon fp after now this rule is actually responsible for the stitched effect I've actually created a circle which is uh, slightly smaller in size compared to the image that I've actually used, which is 6464. I've actually created a circle of 4848 through the colon after rule, people. You must always use the content property. I've set it uh, empty, set the position to be absolute, and I've actually aligned it six pixels from the top and, to the, and the left, and the width and the height of the circle that I'm creating out here through the uh, colon after rule. Or the pseudo element that I'm actually creating is a circle uh, of width 48, height 48. Setting the border radius ensures that it actually turns into a circle. This is an old trick, people. Uh, I'm setting the background of the um, the circle transparent, but I'm actually setting two px of dashed silver. Why do I have to set the background uh, transparent? If the background of this circle you know which has the uh, border was not transparent it will cover the the letter f and the letter t okay i just want the border to show i don't, I don't want uh, the background to appear at all okay so slightly smaller circle compared to the image which is 6464 slightly smaller circle and uh, aligning it six pixels from the top and left once you set the element to be absolute you can then use the top left right and bottom properties and border radius 100 will turn it into a perfect you know a square into a, a perfect circle background transparent so it actually is see through i just want the border to appear to px dash silver i'm using the transition property and i would want the transformation to take place uh, over 0.7s seconds the uh, easing to be ease out the animation type that is what ease is slows down towards the end and the border to uh, change over 0.7 seconds too. If you see the border is actually changing the color, you know, from a silver to a dodger blue. You see, I've actually used 2px of dash silver color out here. Okay, so when you hover over the FB icon, the after element or the pseudo element should change the color to a dodger blue from a silver, and the transformation, basically the rotation, which should be affected and uh, should rotate. 270 degrees from a zero degrees to a 270 degrees people that's exactly what is happening okay and uh, the same process has been repeated for the other class tweet the tweet is a class that's been attached to the other division people after the br tag okay the same process the same thinking the same um, you know modus operandi so people uh, this is just a gist of how things were actually done so a bigger image with a smaller circle used as a pseudo element with a transparent see-through background and on a hover we actually rotate the uh, see-through uh, image 
and uh, this is the result okay I've not used the uh, target attribute but you should do I'll see you in the next part you have a good day please comment please subscribe you have a good day